I didn't come to condemn the world Nor to shame you for your wrong No, no But I came to mend your broken heart And give your heart a song Your life without Christ Is like a star That never, never shines I pray the Lord saints I just want to uh, thank the Lord for this night And I just pray that, uh, that he, he magnify himself And that's all we want to do is Lift up the name of Jesus So uh, let me open up in a word of prayer Let's pray and dear my Father, I do come to you in the precious name of Jesus. And thank you for your grace, Lord. Thank you for your love, your mercy. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your keeping power. And Lord, I just ask you, Lord, to hide me behind the cross. And Lord, that you be magnified and be glorified. That you be lifted up. And oh Lord, oh Lord, that we always look unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. So we thank you, Lord, for your word. God the Father, we thank you. God the Son, we thank you. God the Holy Spirit, we thank you. So, Lord, just magnify yourself this day. Have me behind the cross. In the name of Jesus, I pray and give thanks. Amen. Now, this is Wednesday night for prayer. I'm talking about prayer. And uh, <clears throat> Luke 18, 1 said, Men ought to always pray and not faint. Men ought to always pray and not faint. And then Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6 said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. I pray that we see that tonight. And then another scripture is, uh, I think it's uh, 2 Thessalonians 5 17. It said, Pray without ceasing. So we had to pray. Uh, and we had to pray all, always, always. It should be praying all day long. Pray. Lord wants us to pray. You want to pray to talking to God. And he wants us to talk to him. So we're gonna look at David tonight. We'll look at David, and we're gonna turn to First Corinthians, I mean First Chronicles. First Chronicles and chapter 14. First Chronicles chapter 14. And uh, we're gonna begin with verse 8. And hopefully we can see Proverbs 3 5 in here. And hopefully we can see that men ought to always pray and uh, and not faint. <clears throat> so uh, let's first chronicles chapter 14, and we'll be looking at verse 8. And uh, uh, verse 8 read, And when the Philistine heard that David was anointed king over, over all Israel, they went up to seek it. They went up to seek David. Now, when they heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, they went up to uh, fight against him. Went to fight against him. See, went to fight against him. And uh, verse nine, and verse nine read, and verse nine, and the Philistine came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim, uh, in the valley of Rephaim, and he came and spread themselves. Okay, and we want to see what David did. We want to see what David did. Now tonight is prayer night, so he had to pray. He had to pray. If we're going to talk about prayer tonight, he had to pray. So we look at uh, uh, verse 10. Verse 10. That's, we are in uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 14. We're looking at verse 10. And verse 10 read, And David inquired of the Lord, saying, There's two questions here. Shall I go up? And will thou deliver them into my hand? That's two questions. So when we pray, we want to be pacific too. 
There are times we want to be specific. We want to zero zero in on what our prayer request is and what what we need. So David was very specific. He said, uh, shall I go up? That's number one. Shall I go up and will you deliver them into my hand? And the Lord, the Lord responded. He responded back. And if we look at verse, uh, let's see, make, make sure, verse, verse 10, verse 10. And, and David uh, inquired of the Lord, shall I go up against, against them, and uh, against the Philistine, and will thou deliver them into my hand? That was the question. And, and uh, the Lord said unto to him, this is very important. He said, go up, for I will deliver them into thy hand. Now, no matter what we're going through, the first thing we want to do is pray. Pray. In the New Testament, God the Holy Spirit will bring the scripture back to our remembrance. Whatsoever he has said unto us, that is, that is so important that we stay in God's word. We must stay in God's word so the Holy Spirit can bring those scriptures back to us. Now, he told him, he told him to go up, and that is very really important, very really important, to go up. And verse 11, and verse 11, and they came, uh, so they came to battle, and after uh, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, and David smoked them. So the Lord gave uh, David a victory. He gave him a victory. Because David, what? He prayed, he, said, he, he inquired of the Lord. And the Lord told him, he said, go up. I will deliver them into thy hand. And uh, verse 11 said, and, and he spoke them. Now, the Philistines are, are fighting people. Fighting people. And they were the enemy. And we have an enemy also. And this enemy that we have, he will fight and fight and fight. He will fight us in our homes. You'll fight us on our jobs. You'll fight us on our mind. You'll fight, you just fight, fight, fight. Therefore, we must hold to God's word. We, we have to have God's word and then we have to pray. Pray. And then many times we have to be pacific. We have to be pacific of what we're praying for. I know one time I was uh, praying about my house. I zero in on that house. I zero in on it. And the Lord came through. He came through. So, uh, so we're talking about what David inquired of the Lord. The Philistines, they came down and spread themselves. And uh, David said, shall I go up? And will thou deliver them to my hand? And the Lord said, yes, I, uh, I will deliver them into thy hand. Go up. Flip it, David. Now, what, what we want to see, though, what we want to see here is, uh, uh, I believe, it, let me take a look at verse 13 a minute. Let me take a look at verse 13. Okay. Now, we just read that David, what? Defeated the Philistines, is that right? He defeated the Philistines. But when we look at verse 13, when we look at verse 13, guess how this read? And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. And he didn't come again. Now they, they even just, just smote him and he didn't come again. So what are they telling us though? They're telling us that the, the devil, he doesn't give up. He doesn't give up. We can be victorious here in this area and we cannot relax is what I'm saying. Because we're here for a specific purpose. That is to, uh, to be a, to give the gospel, be a testimony. Therefore, we, we cannot give up. We cannot relax, is what I'm saying. Now, the Lord will tell us when, when to do that. But uh, if, if you haven't called us home yet, don't relax. We have to still pray. We have to still get in his word, meditate in his word, abide in his word. Now, they have come again. So what did David do this time? They don't come back again. In verse 13, okay? So let's go down to verse 14. Therefore, David inquired again 
That is very important. The Philistine come back again. David prayed again. And he prayed again and he asked the Lord for wisdom. He asked the Lord, what should I do? Should I go up? And let me read verse 14. And verse 14 reads, Therefore, David, uh, David inquired, inquired again of God. And listen, listen to what God said this time. And God said unto him, Go not up after them. Okay? That's very important. That's very important. The first time he told David, he said, David, go up. This time, he said, go not up after them. But he tells them, he tells them to do something. Okay? Look at verse 14 again. He said, uh, go not up after them. He said, turn, turn away from them and come upon them over the mulberry tree. Okay? He said, now David, don't go up like you went up the first time. See, now, we, we should be able to see uh, Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6. Definitely verse 6. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord all thine heart, lean not into thy own understanding, and all thy way what? Acknowledge him, and he shall do what? Direct thy path. And that's what the Lord is doing right here. He said, now, David, don't go up like you did the first time. He said, I want you to turn around here like, like you are, uh, will go over there to where the mulberry tree is. Now, what we want to learn from that is when the Lord directs our path, He's working. He's working all, all the time on our behalf because He, number one, He knows the enemy. He knows the enemy and He tells us what to do. So that, that is very important. Now, uh, verse 15. And this is what He tells David. And it shall be when thou hear the sound of the going in the top of the mulberry tree, and then thou shalt go out, out to battle. For God is going before thee and will fight for you. Now he's saying what? God is what? Going before you. He said now, when you hear the sound in the top of the mulberry tree, Okay, the mulberry tree. Now the Lord knows the enemy. He he direct his he directing his path, and he also direct our path. Okay. Now he said that when you hear the, the the sound in the top of the mulberry tree, he said that's when you make your move. He said that's that's when you make your move, and you know that what I've gone up before you to to take care of your enemy. So now when he shake the top of that mulberry tree. It could be the sound gonna be so loud. I, I almost put the boom box with it, but I said no, I better put the boom box with this. <laughs> but my, my point here, it's gonna be so loud, be so loud that the Philistine, when when David don't come, they gonna be marching, and the Philistine won't be able to hear him marching. They won't be able to hear him because of, uh, of the sound of the, of the leaves in the mulberry tree, and then when. Uh, before they know it, before they know it, David is going to be right on, right on. And that's the point we want to bring out. One time he, uh, one time the Lord told him to go up. The next time the Lord told him to no, don't go up. And we need to listen to the Lord. Now, uh, if we go back and look, if we go back and look, uh, when when uh, David and him defeated the uh, Philistine the first time, if we lean on our own understanding and have an ideal degree, know what we know what we have said? Oh, we did it the first time, we can do it this time. Oh, no, we can't. Because God, the Lord changed it. He said, don't go up like you did the first time. He said, but I want you to, he said, I want you to turn and go over by the mulberry tree. And he said, no more, I, he gonna take care of the tree. He gonna take care of the tree in the, in the, in the sand of those leaves. And <coughs> the first thing we never know that David and them coming up on. So that's what we want to talk about tonight. And I pray that uh, I pray that you uh, take heed to this here. But I do want to bring one more word out. 
I'm not worried. When the Lord told David what to do, when he told him what to do, okay, it said that David did. Did. D-I-D. Did. Uh, Sometimes when you come to the, uh, the leadership or person in the Lord and, and they ask you something, and you say, well, Lord, I'm going I'm to do this here. But we have to obey God's word. And uh, David could have gone up straight, but he got fixed because he didn't do it God's way. So David is, David is a powerful person too. So at those points we just wanted to bring out tonight. Number one, we want to inquire the Lord like David did. And uh, we want to be specific in our prayer. And then uh, when the enemy comes back, Satan is coming back. Because the Philistine came back again, they would pray again. And we want to always pray and not to thank. So we just want to thank the Lord tonight for his word and uh, just pray that, uh, uh, just meditate on his word. Meditate on his word because the Lord is uh, always looking out for our best interests. Our best interests. He just wants us to uh, acknowledge him so he can direct our path. And if you get time, you can go back and look at these few verses right here and you see how the Lord directed, told David how to turn. That's directing. So we just thank the Lord for his word. And we're going to stop right there for the night, for the the night. And we're going to uh, give an invitation. Give an invitation. Uh, there may be someone that's listening and uh, that person may say, you know, I, I want to be saved, but I, know, I, I don't know how to, how to be saved. And it's so, it's so, it's so simple. So simple. Um, God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for our sin. Because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. We're all sinners. And we need to be saved. And that's why it's so very important that we go into all the world. And he said, I want you to get one message, the gospel. One message, the gospel. Because that's what saves people. And that's, how, that's how you get saved, by the gospel. And the gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And uh, you may be saying, does it cost anything? No, it doesn't cost anything. Jesus paid it all on the cross. So what do I have to do? Come. He said, come unto me. And you can get saved. So I'm going to ask you to bow your head right now. Uh, and give you an invitation how to, how to get saved. And you can give your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ tonight and be born into the family of God forever. So you can pray after me. Dear God, I, I am a sinner. And Lord, I'm sorry for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that you were buried, and that you rose from the dead. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. Leave my life for me. And Lord, lead me to a, a church that preaches nothing but the word of God. A Bible believing church. So I ask you, Lord, to undertake. In the name of Jesus, I pray and give thanks. Amen. Okay. Uh, now I'd like to close in prayer. I'd like to close in prayer. I think we have a, I think we have a song, I think. We'd like to close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we do come to you in the precious name of Jesus. And Lord, uh, I pray, Lord, that the saints uh, uh, consider what I say, but Lord, that you get an understanding. And Lord, just thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus, I pray and give thanks. Amen.